Yes, you have returned to Zamora Models. And on this episode of Building Your Walter's Dairy Queen, Grill and Chill, we're going to discuss some of the highlights, pointers, and what I did to paint this building. This building, the building itself, was primarily painted with spray paints, with the exception of the decorative stone brick wall. That was painted with two colors of acrylic paint by hand and two colors of oil paints by hand. After I painted all the uh, brickwork, I dull coated it and put a gray wash over the entire thing. Now the kit has excellent detail work on the brickwork. Absolutely happy with that. However, before you start painting it, decide if you want the sides to also have the brickwork. Because the brickwork only comes down to the roof line and everything below that, all the way down to the doors, is just plain plastic. So for my kit, because I noticed that after the fact, I simply went through by hand and painted different colors on there. You might choose to score the plastic before you paint it and then you can have the... Uh, brick lines on the side as well going all the way down the front of the building and in this angle you can see something else that i'm dissatisfied with the top and bottom stonework fit very nicely into its spot they hug up against the top and bottom of where they're supposed to be and the back edges by the back edges i mean right over here However, they fall short on the corners. So after I noticed that, I went ahead and popped that off and painted the same color by hand underneath. And then reapplied it, hoping that would help hide it. And ultimately, I'm still not satisfied with the gap that's left over. Uh, my only other option now would be to putty it over and do a lot of sanding and fouling and then have to tape everything off and repaint it. That is an option. But to save you guys the time, what I would do is, before you paint it, put your, your filler putty in and expect and be prepared that the gaps are going to be there. And that way you only have to paint it once. Another side note is when we put on the awnings here, the awning below the sign as well as the awning on the drive through flip this around, right back there, went on without a problem. This one did not fit in its slots, um, so I wound up cutting the tabs off and just gluing it directly to the building. As far as the windows, I went ahead and painted all the windows black. And yes, I know I have a lot of touch-up work to do here. But with the doors, I painted the frames of the doors red, which is slightly different than what you see on the box art. Uh, but I felt that it fit with the color scheme of the building. It pops out at you where the restaurant would want you to look at and made a overall inviting feel so i'm going to go ahead and keep those red initially i had painted the downspouts silver but i wanted to keep the building uniformed and i had also painted the back door red so i went ahead and came through and repainted the downspouts with red to match the color scheme so what i'm left with is a pretty cool effect it's kind of hard to see here that's a little better view the inside of the downspouts are silver and the outside is red uh happy with how those turned out but those are the only details that you get with this kit other than the signs on the front i did make one modification already the large grill and chill sign sits slightly offset and overhangs the brickwork. That is prototypical on some of the Dairy Queens that I've been able to find. And there are also some that have the grill and chill sign centered above the door. 
I liked the look of it centered above the door more. I felt that it, the two signs were too cramped together. So I went ahead and cut the tabs on the back of the sign off and just shimmed it over and glued it to the brickwork there. But if you like having the sign offset a little, it is prototypical. Don't feel that you have to move it. Now, the windows that come with the kit were just too bulky for my taste. I, I liked the fact that they were tinted, but they were still just too bulky. So I went ahead and used clear sheet styrene, made my windows. Uh, very simple, guys. I just took the window frame, put it down on the clear sheet styrene, and traced it with the hobby knife. And the reason for that is on the inside, I went ahead and painted all the walls. And I painted a trim or base color around the bottom that matches the scheme of the building on the exterior. So that way when we put the interiors in with the red tables and some counters, uh, it'll add another level of interest. And really allow you to super detail the building if it's going to be up front. Here's a view of the, the side door there. And another view of the back. On the back here, it's a relatively blank wall. I do have a ladder that I'm going to install here. That's what this recessed part of the roof is for, is for a roof access la ladder. That will be painted red. I also have some electrical box boxes and gas boxes made from Walters that will go on this back wall. Yeah, they're probably going to go somewhere over here. Uh, those are going to be painted uh, red. And, of course, I still have the one problem that I have with every fast food restaurant that I've seen on the market today in HO scale. They all lack the iconic feature of a fast food restaurant. There's no drive through order box or menu. So, for this kit, I will be making a drive through uh, menu display which will go somewhere over here on this end here not exactly sure where it'll place up i might wind up making it separate and just be able to move it on the layout itself and we'll see how that works out and the roof is painted the same color as the building um, you can see the score lines on there to simulate a uh, concrete slabbed roof design um, once I put my weathering effect on this roof, it will change the coloration of the roof and make it appear to be a different color than the actual building itself. I'll give you guys one more quick run around of the building here. And that red trim on the inside, all I did with that is I masked it off at the, red, at the window line. So everything from the bottom window sealed down is red. And above it is our beige cream color. So hey guys, thanks for stopping in today. Uh, definitely hope that you like how this Dairy Queen is turning out so far. If you like what I've done with this Dairy Queen so far, definitely check the comments. In a day or two, I'll have the complete list uploaded of all the paints that I used uh, for this uh, color scheme. They're not prototypically correct paint colors, but I do think that they blend well with the overall uh, color scheme of the Dairy Queen. And the next video we're going to go over is discussing the detail parts that I put on this kit as well as the interiors. Thanks for stopping in, guys. Hope you'll uh, subscribe, hit the like button, and of course, if you want to see this Dairy Queen finished, turn on the notifications. That way you can be updated of the next video. Thank you.